How is a flocked profile processed? At the beginning of the line, there's the molding machine, the extruder. It compresses rubber through a shaped nozzle. Such nozzles determine the profile geometry. In addition, complex profiles contain metal inserts or areas made of different rubber compounds. The raw rubber is fed into the extruder. The type of rubber compound used is decisive in determining the rigidness of the profile and all other characteristics required. Screw systems plastify and convey the rubber compound through to the nozzle. The nozzle forms the profile. The central control unit ensures the controlling of the entire line. Directly after the extrusion, the profile geometry is checked online, which makes it possible to take immediate action in case of faults and therefore minimize waste. The profile is vulcanized, which means that by heating it up, fiber-like raw rubber molecules are traversally cured and the raw rubber then forms and generates the stable elastic profile. The length of the individual machine parts determines the possible production speed. In order to allow for a perfect adhesive bonding, the profile has to be pre-treated, whereby in this case the profile surfaces are roughened up by rotating wire brushes. Alternatively, primer, corona or plasma pretreatments can be used also. The adhesive application is done here with brushes. However, the adhesive may also be applied by spraying with small spray guns. The adhesive coating should only be done on the areas which have to be flocked. Therefore, an exact adhesive edge is important. Flocking is done purely electrostatically in the first two flocking units, while in the third flocking zone, flocking is carried out electrostatically and pneumatically. Here is the electrostatic flock field. Flock is dosed out with brushes and by using the electrostatic field shot into the adhesive. An even dosing of the flock is important. It's advised to first of all start the flocking with a low field strength and built up a thin flock pile which is then maximized with a higher field strength into the required flock density. However, for this, several separated flocking zones are necessary. The electrostatic pneumatic flocking zone. This is required for complicated profile geometry which forms the electrostatic field in such a way that the flock fibers may not reach into certain individual areas of the profiles. Flock appears from the nozzles driven by air. In addition, the nozzle contains a high voltage electrode with which even complicated areas and back cutouts may be densely flocked because the conveyed air moves the flock even to such areas which might not be reachable with a purely electrostatic flocking method. The flocking process can only be carried out properly if the air humidity and the temperature in the flocking zone are kept at a constant level. Therefore, a high-powered air conditioning plant is indispensable for the entire flocking zone. There follows the drying and curing track for the adhesive. The cooling track at the end of the line cools down the profiles. Hot profiles are sensitive to pressure and therefore cannot be wound up. The conveyor caterpillar equipment pulls the finished and load-stable profile out of the plant line. Profiles with a rigid metal reinforcement are directly cut into the lengths required by the customer, controlled and packed. Visual inspection of the flocked surface with ultraviolet lighting. The flock density is laboratory tested.
the test for the abrasion resistance of the flocking is done with the abrasion tester. The light-up microscope. Here, cross-sectional samples are inserted and enlarged. The test allows for an even more precise checking of the profile cross-section than the online tests. In this way, even the smallest divergences from the required shape and form can be established and corrected. The profile geometry is compared with the drawing. Profiles do not have to be flocked in line, but may also be flocked in a separate process. Here is the adhesive application with spray guns onto finished profile pieces. The fully automatic conveying to the flocking zone. The electrostatic flocking. The final cleaning the cooling zone. The final quality control and packing. The correct processing as shown and final precise control result in airtight seals which will fulfill their purpose and will last for the life of the vehicle on which the profiles are used.